Recently, First Alert 4 told you about a scathing Department of Justice report calling out Missouri's handling of mentally ill citizens. That report raising numerous questions across the state. Tonight, Joe McLean is hearing from Governor Mike Parson about the DOJ's findings. Disappointed the federal government makes those kind of accusations, and I'm not sure they're correct to start off with, but I think those are things that we can deal with. Republican Governor Mike Parson was asked how his administration will respond to a Department of Justice report, which found the state's system for dealing with severe mental health cases routinely abuses the conservative ship process to place them in nursing homes against their will. Thousands of Medicaid-eligible adults with mental health disabilities are unnecessarily confined in nursing facilities and separated from their communities. Governor Parson admitted to the Missouri Capitol Bureau he hasn't looked at how the report was compiled, but says he's generally against whatever the federal government says. I fought the federal agencies for six years. And I'll continue to try to figure out what is the right thing to do and what is the wrong thing to do. But I don't have a lot of trust in the opinion of the federal government sometimes. The investigation by the DOJ took more than a year and a half and involved reviewing scores of documents, interviewing hundreds of stakeholders across the state, and visiting more than 60 different Missouri providers. There is a woeful lack of services for the seriously mentally ill. And that's at all levels of care. Rachel Strife co-founded a group called Mad Moms, which has since launched a chapter in Missouri. The group aims to push for more public investment in a wider range of mental health services. The 1%, the sickest patients, have been grossly underfunded. I don't know why, because they're expensive to society. It's, it's unfair. It's highly discriminatory. Right now, because of an exemption in the law, Medicaid does not cover costs of patients in institutions for mental diseases, or IMDs. It means anyone who needs this care will likely have to pay out of pocket to get it. Lifting that Medicaid exemption on the federal level, Strife says, is the first step in treating mental health care like any other kind of health care. In Jefferson City, Joe McLean, First Alert 4.